entertaining. It was. <laughs> Actually, I didn't really watch it. <laughs> I didn't really watch it either. That was the one that took us like five takes because because I couldn't talk through it. Up. I kept yeah. stuttering. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, it is effective. Actually, I was talk I was in treatments last night, and I had a couple people that said it's really, really helping, not just with back pain, but there was um, one lady that found that it helped with her bowel movements. Mm -hmm. She actually goes more regularly if she's doing it that. It makes sense. It's massaging yeah. that whole abdominal area. Yeah, so it's all in the same area. It keeps mm -hmm. it moving. That's what yep. we got to do. Anyway, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so we're back with Mike from Able Pest Control. And um, we kind of touched on the corporate thing a little bit, and I'm intrigued because I never really thought of bed bugs as a corporate issue. But when you mentioned the institutions like hotels and, and hospitals, hospitals and all that sort of thing, retirement of course, homes. but even, even offices, right? Someone brought yeah. it into your yeah. office, and then I mentioned the TTC without even thinking about it, but of course trains and buses and places like and that. even our places, I mean, we do have people laying on tables. Now, granted, we change the sheets, but... Yeah, we change the sheets every but time. But they can get into the laundry basket, right? Yeah. I mean, who, I mean, if someone... I mean, does, can you, do they die from washing? Well, one of the things that we have in, in our training video is actually how to, <laughs> how to do your laundry properly. Next uh, time we're not inviting you, we're just going to play your video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's well, much more entertaining. We, uh, the, the, the best way to kill them in your laundry, they, they'll survive most laundry processes. They can go through the washer and dryer and come out, and that's one of the challenges that institutions oh. have because if one person brings in five, they get distributed through the laundry and, and you bring them into different rooms or areas. Oh. So what we recommend for that when you're, when you're putting them th it through the dryer cycle, if you think at all that there's a, a high risk that you could have bed bugs is uh, fill your dryer up about half full only and run it for an extra long in the hottest cycle. I mean, it has to reach, for, reach 48 degrees and stay there for, you know, 20 minutes. We say a half an hour. So um, just just do that. Leave it leave it on extra long and only maybe half full. So it, on the hottest, hottest setting, that'll, that'll kill bed bugs. Wow. That's good to know. It is. You know, everyone always made fun of me with wanting to always use hot water for everything. Not made fun of me, but I'm an environmentalist, right? Okay. So, and I'm always, when we wash our sheets at the clinic, we get the environmentally friendly um, laundry Shame. stuff. Well, yeah, and, exactly. and I've always said, just put, it, put everything on hot, hot, hot. It's probably my English mum conditioning. I never thought about bed bugs, yeah. but that's well, probably Well, the dryer is your best defense. The dryer than, rather than, than the washer. washing machine. Yeah, they'll survive a lot of times in the washing machine. And wow. uh, people have that's said amazing. to us, we put them outside in the freezing cold and things, and that, that's not really an effective way to, to deal no, with No, most them, bugs so. can live through that. The they cold, yeah. Freezing. I've done it with flies before. They sort of just stop moving, and then as soon as they defrost, they can fly again. Yeah. Yeah. When I had a pet cricket. So if you're if you're collecting up laundry and you think it could be, Lizard. if there's a risk of of having bed bugs, we normally suggest put them in a garbage bag, and tie it shut. So like with lice, same yeah, so same you're idea. Not distributing it through. Um, you can buy special dissolving bags if you want, but normally, at least put it in a garbage bag and tie it shut. Um, when you put it in the in the washer or dryer, when you're done, tie that garbage bag up and throw it outside of your building. Don't throw it in your garbage in your house or or in your building because then they'll just come out of the bag and and Ugh. they'll they're like cockroaches. They're they're highly mobile and they're highly motivated and they'll yeah, find you. I heard that they, they can look like cockroaches and they move bit. as fast as ladybugs. Is that did I read that correctly somewhere? Is that in a You know, I don't know how a ladybug. I, I, well, I I'm would, used to I, seeing I a ladybug. I would probably guess that so. they move faster. They don't fly. Uh, but they run very, very quickly. It's it's surprising. The screen how, thing. Yeah, they Ugh. run very quickly. So, wow. So yeah, as a as a corporation that is at risk for not only getting infected themselves, but that's where you're running the risk of infecting so many more places. The best thing to do would be to start off by watching this video, right? Well, it, yeah. It, in even if you've never had a bed bed bug problem, we're finding many businesses are taking the responsible route of setting up a preventative program and. Mm -hmm having some random inspections done, training their staff, and uh, so that if, if, if it did come out that there was a problem in your uh, institution, and, and these are some high-end places too, I mean, it's not low-income areas, that you can, you can verify that you've actually had a, a documented bed bug program, that you've, oh, that's you've good. got due diligence, and it gives oh, you some yeah. legal. You know what, as a consumer, you should be looking for that wherever you go. 
If you're going to be laying down anywhere, absolutely. I or usually even... check that they've got free Wi-Fi and room service. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should have, and usually a pool and a hot tub. A tub-like. pool, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you, you might want to put the bed bugs thing a little higher on the list, though. <laughs> Let's get our priorities we, We'd right. like to say that, but we doubt that uh, places are going to start putting plaques in front of their... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably doesn't business, look that but, good, eh? But, Just so but you know. people are being proactive, and that's the important thing. And we're, we're seeing yeah. industry being very, very responsible uh, to defend themselves because... It's their reputation. Absolutely. And it's That's very thing. expensive if, a, if an issue gets out of control. If it's not because they so. care about the end user, it's because they care about, about their the reputation. Bottom line. So you're covered mm-hmm. either way. Yeah. Anyway, we do have Bill on the line. Bill Carlson oh, excellent. from Georgia. And his uh, company name is Nature's Innovation. And he's got some products. Actually, we've got photos of the product. But we'll get Bill on the line so we can say hello first. Good morning. How are you, Bill? Good morning. Oh, it's okay. working fantastic. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm good, thanks. We've had tons of conversations about bed bugs, and we played a little clip um, that we actually got linked into from your website. You've got that informative clip about uh, from National Geographic about bed bugs, and we found that really helpful. Mm-hmm. So thank you for that. Um, as far as your uh, products go, I think I'm just going to allow you to introduce what your company uh, provides with regards to bed bugs and why we should you why we should check out your products. Sure. Uh, basically, about five years ago, we developed a product called Bed Bug Patrol that's primarily used um, mostly by the end consumer industry. But we didn't just get in this business, uh, you know, the last three months because there's suddenly an outbreak of bed bugs. We've been doing this a long time, so we have a lot of experience both working with the labs and in consumers on the product side. so That's good that's, to know. Experience mm-hmm. means a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, certainly, we've seen, you know, our business has doubled, you know, every year for the last two years. And, of course, in the last three or four months, it's done, you know, significantly well as, as well. But I think the big point here is that there's really two options from a consumer perspective. It's either, you know, they can do it themselves. Um, and probably save some money or they can call an exterminator and we certainly advocate doing either one. We have exterminators who use our products and then we have end consumers who do that as well. So um, our, our bed bug patrol product line is, you know, it's, it's pretty well known here in the United States. We are making some inroads in Canada. Um, granted, it's not been as, you know, it's a little bit tougher for us with Health Canada and all that up there. So we're working with them to try to get some things squared away in Canada, um, but we are EPA uh, registered here in the United States. That's good to know. Yeah, absolutely. And I was really happy to hear that it's an all-natural product. Now, I know that that I insist on all-natural products, Mm -hmm. if possible, Um, but the skepticism in the market is, you know, if it's all-natural, people tend to think that it doesn't work as well. Now, can you alleviate our doubts about that? Well, I think, I mean, certainly that that's a, I think that's a common uh, misnomer. I think... Certainly, one of the things that natural products don't do is they don't really have, other than like our diatomaceous earth product, which is a dust product, don't have a lot of long-term uh, capability. So, you know, you don't spray once and then it lasts for three weeks or a month. Uh, because these are natural products, they, they do have a burn down rate fairly quickly. So within, you know, three to five days, that's about all you're going to get out of a, a natural spray product. Um, this is our, our Ben and Control spray that I'm showing online here right now. This product primarily, you know, is going to only last probably three to five days tops. Um, and that's because it is a natural product. I mean, it does probably makes you feel a little better that, you know, you could go ahead and spray it on your bedding and sleep on it tonight or your, your children and it's pet safe. But it doesn't last as long as, as other products. And we, we have no problem telling consumers that. Um, there's certainly, uh, I think I've, I've been online and actually talked about Raid and products like that. It, they do kill bed bugs very effectively. But I don't want to sleep on that. I don't so, blame, and you don't want it hanging around your house for three weeks either, right? That, that, that's uh, toxic yeah. stuff. And, um, you know, you talk about you sleeping on that, but you did touch on the kids and pets. The, there's one-year-olds that walk around, and they lick everything. And, you're yeah. like, if you've just sprayed a product, who knows if it's going to end up near their mouth or yeah. the dog. And it, people with asthma inhaling things that they don't want to inhale. So if it's something natural, still, you're not going to want them licking it, I'm sure. <laughs> But <laughs> put your mind at ease that three to five days later, it's pretty much burned out. Now, what's I don't see that as a huge deal because I know um, the biggest thing that people want when they've got a problem, whether it's
it's a child's health problem or something like bed bugs, they want to be able to do something right. about it. And um, uh, I think, yeah, the number one place you're going to get bed bugs, uh, other than from your neighbors, if you live in apartments or tenement buildings, that kind of thing, because they do migrate between um, apartments. We've seen that very, you know, in high density situations in Chicago and New York, and I'm sure in Toronto and yep. Quebec. I mean, all these cities, we we've, we've definitely seen that, but. There are preventative measures you can take, and you know we have, for instance, a luggage spray that you can bring on, you know, take with you, and when you're traveling, it's three ounce travel size, it's TSA approved, you know, that you can take with you. But it's also you checking your hotel room before you, you know, bring any of your bags in. Maybe you put your bags into a plastic bag, a black plastic trash bag, before you, you know, when you're in your hotel room. I was just in New York City. Uh, two weeks ago, and I did the very same thing. I checked my entire room. Fortunately, I didn't find any bed bugs, but again, it's that prevention side is just as important as what you do after you get them. And we provide on our website, uh, www.bed-bugs.net, we provide you know all the information you need to, whether you buy our products or not. That's fantastic. It's nice to have that available to people, and you're right. I mean, prevention is definitely the best solution, but Absolutely, it's yeah. good to know that there's. We're not going to solve everything by prevention because there's bed bugs out there right now yeah. as we speak, well, right? It's, so it's it, not if it going does away happen. anytime soon, because unfortunately, the people that really seriously have them um, can't really even afford to buy the products and do it themselves sometimes. It's oh, that's yeah. scary. This is when I wonder if the public health department should get involved and start to. You know, get a contract with a company like yourself or Able Pest Control or whoever, and just get it looked after because it's affecting all of us. Absolutely. And uh, it'll spread. Yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger at the moment. I think uh, you know, both Doesn't, CDC oh. and Health Canada. Oh, you know, they're they're trying out there, but I think there's certainly there's some money that has to be thrown at this situation. Yeah. And, you know, that I might be why the uh, Toronto Public Health Department uh, wasn't able to come on to the show come on today. The show I don't today, think yeah. they would have felt too well. What were you going to say, Mike? I was going to say uh, because bed bugs haven't been shown yet to transfer disease, the public right. health it doesn't see them as much as a as a threat. As a threat. Oh, good and, gracious! You know, they're sucking blood out of people. Well, not only that, but they're disturbing people's sleep. Yeah, right, and it's making disease. people less effective. For in the workplace and the psychological effects exactly. honestly i would go crazy if i had some well i don't have far to go <laughs> <laughs> well one thing if you've been as close to it as as, as we have uh, when you see the trauma trauma that bed bugs inflict on people uh, when people call us they're they're crying i mean yeah people are upset it is it is terrible to see some of the stories i mean it's it's very traumatic so to say that they're not a health threat I would argue they don't transfer disease. They haven't been shown to at this point, but There's still a I think threat. that's where we're we're urge, urging the government to take take this more seriously. Yeah, and I think that anyone that's ever experienced bed bugs would sign a petition to that extent. I know that the girl that contacted me would be all over it. Mm -hmm. It's it's not nice when you're not being heard. You know, when someone's saying no, it's not a health threat, and you're going, "What are you talking about? My son and I haven't slept for." <laughs> two weeks and here's a true story too i actually had a film crew out in halifax it was coming up to do some video work with our communications department and uh, they canceled it they canceled the trip it was actually a, a show on cockroaches but they canceled the trip because there's so much in the media about bed bugs in oh, the Toronto wow. area and they said they weren't coming well i guess that's one solution yeah. <laughs> just don't come here just don't travel stay which at is, home which is not fair because bed bugs are really everywhere in Canada, they are they're so. yeah, absolutely they're not everywhere here. it's not just in one spot it's a mobile society and that's primarily what you know what exactly. driven this whole thing in the last two years we have you know people are literally traveling all over the world and bringing them with them and it isn't just we don't just ship product to the major cities it's, it's missoula montana it's austin texas it's it's smaller towns you've never even heard of that are purchasing products online or you know uh, uh, in other ways in retail stores that are it, it's so it's a global problem it's not absolutely well yeah it's good you're selling it online so you see where it's shipping to 